spring begins, the nesting season is marked with adorable masked lapwing chicks. Their parents' highly protective behaviour causes fear in many people and many rescue calls are the result. As the urban sprawl continues across Australia, our love of open spaces have suited the lapwings well. And they have taken the opportunity to nest closely around people, such as on open fields, roundabouts, highway median strips, school ovals, golf courses, and in built up areas on rooftops. My name is Kim, and I have been a wildlife rehabilitator for the last 15 years. A question we regularly get asked is can we move mask lapwing eggs? Lapwing nesting season starts from July to December, but due to a changing climate, we usually start seeing them in May or after heavy rains. Lapwings make their nest by creating a small indent in the ground. The nest is usually laid in the middle of open grassland so that they can see any approaching predators. The female lays three to five olive speckled eggs, which are well camouflaged against their surroundings. Both parents protect the nest by screeching and swooping at any approaching predators, including people. The incubation is by the female and takes 28 days. After the chicks hatch, their parents will vacate the nest and leave the chicks away to shelter. Masked lapwing chicks are precocial and start to walk and feed within 24 hours of hatching. Chicks feed on the ground on insects and worms. They are vulnerable for about six to seven weeks while they are growing their feathers as they cannot fly. Their parents protect them during this time. For protection against predators, the chicks use camouflage and are also protected and kept warm by their parents. Lapwings use their spurs when diving at potential predators or intruders during the breeding season, while their chicks are running around or when the eggs are trussed about to hatch. While these attacks are quite unnerving, the birds seldom strike their victims, preferring a close approach to scare them away. They also try to draw potential predators away from the nest by faking an injury. So can we move the nest and eggs? Moving eggs is done on a case-by-case -case scenario. Generally, it is difficult to move a nest with eggs as the parent birds will not be able to find them. It is different when the chicks have hatched as the parents will follow their begging calls to the new nest location. Here's an example of a successfully moved lapwing nest. I was called to a construction site where the lapwings had made a nest on the side of the site. The green cross marks the nesting spot. The construction company only wanted to move them three metres across and had already tried and when it failed they called wires. When speaking to members of the public I usually start with the possibility of leaving the eggs until they hatch as the parents will take the chicks away and the protective behaviour will cease. If we take the eggs there is a chance they will re-nest resulting in the same issue. Lapwings may have up to two clutches per year and usually nest in the same site. Knowing how long the female has been sitting on the nest will help determine how much incubation time is left. As the lapwings had already been incubating their eggs for two weeks, this meant there was only another two weeks to go. When you approach the nest or the chicks, the adults are super protective and will make a lot of noise or swoop to protect their chicks. So it's a good idea to wear protective clothing and a hat, but with all the rescues I have done, they have never made contact. At this site, I moved the eggs 50 centimetres or half a metre across and waited to see if the female would find them, which she did. I also moved the fluoro pole as this was a good landmark for people to avoid the area and also for the plovers. Witches hats are also very good. Once I was comfortable that the lapwings were following the moved eggs, I advised the site manager to move the eggs 50 centimetres per day until they were out of their way, as they were happy to move them until they were three metres across and were happy to work around them. This construction company were great to work with. I followed up two weeks later and the eggs had hatched 
and the adults had taken them away from the site. This is not always possible and depends on where the eggs are laid and how long until incubation ends. I have found that most people are quite happy for lapwings to finish nesting in their yard if they have some information on behaviour and know how much longer until the chicks hatch and parents move them away. If you must take the eggs away, explain that re-nesting may occur. Request that they remove any leaf litter from gutters and rooftops which will help deter from any further nesting. So in summary, moving eggs is a case by case scenario. 28 days incubation period, move eggs 50 centimetres or half a metre each day. If removing eggs, lapwings may re-nest and remove any nesting material.